can you outgrow a disc? Can a disc become unusable as you get better in the sport of disc golf? The answer is kind of yes and no. It depends on certain different factors and uh, different situations and kind of what you're looking for the disc to do. The disc could still maintain use for you in your system and in your bag, but you might have to kind of readjust what you use it for. Now myself and a lot of experienced players, pretty much all experienced players, will recommend beginners start with slow, understable discs, understable to neutral discs. The reason for that is pretty simple, um, although it might not be readily apparent when you're just starting out with disc golf just why people recommend that. But an understable disc is just easier to get it to fly straight. It requires less speed and power on the throw to get it to fly on a nice straight line, which is all you're really trying to do when you're first starting out is learning how to throw dead straight down the fairway with accuracy and keep it on the line that you want. That's the name of the game when you're first starting out as far as I'm concerned. You're just trying to get a little distance, get it out there a little bit, and keep it straight and accurate work on your form in order to get better and learn how to then start manipulating the different angles. If you start with something that's overstable or that's too fast for you, you just flat out will not be able to throw it straight as a brand new beginner. That's one of the big issues that I see um, all the time and I've made several videos trying to help you guys understand why you shouldn't do this because I see a ton of people struggle with it out there on the course. It's really upsetting to me because I feel like it's very likely they will become discouraged and give up on the game where if they started with a better disc, a more suitable disc for their uh, skill level, they might be more successful and stick with it, which I want because I love this game and I want to see it grow and, uh, and thrive. I really want it to do well. So. Some of the discs you might start out with are over here. I have some other stuff I was going to show you over here just for, uh, for context. So let's say you're starting out and your favorite driver is a witness. It's just for an example. Here are your flight numbers on this guy. Negative three for turn, fate of one. Very, very understable disc. Um, full review on this one coming out eventually, but yeah, it's just, just uh, a quick review. The witness is a very understable fairway driver, very easy to roll and hold turnovers for experienced players. Great beginner disc, because it's so understable, it will fly nice and straight. As you get better, um, when you're just starting out, you might be able to throw the witness pretty flat. Nice flat angle, maybe a slight hyzer, and get it to stand up and fly pretty straight. It might even finish out for you a little bit when you're first starting out, for sure. Then as you get better, your arm speed will increase, you will start putting more energy on this disc, and you're going to see it start turning more. I'm holding it with my left hand, but say if you're right-handed. You're going to start seeing it naturally turn more to the right. You might get to the point somewhat quickly, if you uh, pick up the game fast, that all of a sudden you can't really control it on a straight shot anymore. Now all of a sudden it's turning and rolling over to the right a lot. If that's something that's happening to you, it could mean that you're kind of outgrowing the disc, but the disc could still maintain use for you um, as you progress. You're just not going to be able to use it in the same way anymore because your arm speed has now increased. So what would be a good option for you to do would be to step up to something that's a little bit more stable to overstable. What I think would be a bad decision, and not that this is a bad disc, I just think this would be the wrong way to go, would be to go to something faster like this. This is a Speed 14, this Knight. Huge rim on this thing. This thing still takes a lot of speed to get it to fly its intended flight path. So even though it's still understable, since it's faster, they'll get a little more distance. All that is true, but you still need to be able to throw it with more speed to get that flight out of it. So I would say stay away from this faster stuff until you get even more experience. What would be a good option for the next uh, kind of step up from a witness would be something like an Escape. This is a great disc. I love this thing. It's an old pre-Sweden Escape that I've been throwing. 9.6 negative 0.5 for turn and a fade of two so it has nat less natural turn to it so you can throw this disc in the manner you were throwing your witness when you first started out as your arm speed starts to increase and now you can get a similar flight out of this disc as you were getting out of your witness probably a little bit farther a little bit more consistently as well because it's just a little bit more stable disc and it's a little easier to control because of that so where does that leave the witness so now you switch to the escape, this is your go-to kind of straight to a little bit of a finish, maybe it'll ride out, come back, nice straight flying, regular um, distance shot disc for you. Don't be afraid to throw fairway drivers for distance when you're starting out as well. I guarantee you more beginners um, 
newer players and players with lower arm speed, even if you've been playing for a long time, if you have a lower arm speed, you're probably going to be able to throw something like an escape farther than faster discs. If you don't get them up to speed, you're not going to see the benefits. So don't be afraid to throw a little bit slower drivers for distance. This disc flies really far. Don't be uh, fooled by the numbers. The glide is, is big there. And the ability to get it to keep flying is important as well. So you switch to the escape. Where does this leave you with the witness? What you could do is now this can become your turnover disc. So now if you want to throw a shot that goes left to right, you know the witness will do that because you've seen that natural turn come out in it as you've gotten better and been able to put more spin on this disc. Now it naturally wants to go to the right. So if you want to throw a shot that does that, now the witness is perfect for that. Also, you can if you're throwing it nice and flat when you're starting out and all of a sudden it's starting to turn to the right on a flat release, you can tailor that to fit your game by just giving yourself some more hyzer. Put it on a little bit more hyzer angle, maybe take a little bit more energy off of it, and now you can get it to go out, stand up flat, fly a nice hyzer flip shot that should flip to flat and hold it, maybe ride out, but it's less likely to turn over completely when thrown with that hyzer angle. So you can start putting a little more hyzer on it and still get some use out of it, throwing it with a little more touch and a little bit more finesse as you get more um, experienced. Also, rollers. The Witness is a really easy roller disc. You pull it over on a hard Anheuser angle, you can get it down on the ground and start rolling quite easily. So, I just wanted to give you guys some context on that. I think that's kind of a concept that beginners have trouble with. They understand that they should use understable discs when they're starting out, but they don't necessarily understand why and not really sure how it works as you kind of progress. It's very likely that the stuff that you start out with, your first favorite disc, at some point may become basically no longer useful to you in your game, and that's okay. Your bag system will change as you get um, more and more experienced. Eventually you might love throwing these big wide rims once you get with more, some more speed and your form gets better. And all of that's going to be very dependent on you, your skill level, the amount of time you put into the game, um, your athleticism and all that kind of stuff can is going to fluctuate based on who you are and how much effort and uh, time you put into learning the game. So just remember, it's okay if your witness or your favorite go-to disc when you just started out isn't working for you anymore, put it aside. You know you can give it to your friend that you want to try to introduce to the game. You have it there if you need it, if you ever really need a really understable disc for rollers or easy turnovers or something, you still have it available, but if even if you might still find it a little bit touchy for that, and you might want to throw something else, even for turnover shots as you get more experienced, that is okay. Don't worry about it. I know it's sad when you have to kind of leave your, uh, your old friends behind on the disc golf course, but I haven't thrown this disc in many years. Sometimes I miss it. Maybe I'll bring it out and just throw it for fun one of these days because I haven't thrown it in several years now. But it's all right. You're going to find your new favorite disc. They're out there, and as your game increases and your uh, proficiency increases, you're going to find more and more things that work better for your game. Um, and that is basically a never-ending journey with disc golf. Your bag will fluctuate. It'll take things in and out, and that's kind of part of the fun. So hopefully that answers some questions for you. If you have any more questions, leave them for me down below in the comments, and I will get, do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching. I'll check you later. All right, bye.